Hey everyone, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video today. Uh, we've had a number of questions uh, involving the uh, remote software upgrade in your vehicle, uh, what that entails, and uh, whether or not you can actually jump from one operating system to the other. So let's, let's answer that second question first. So with iDrive 8 coming out and everybody seeing the uh, really cool BMW curve display, a lot of customers have wondered, can I update my iDrive 7 system to iDrive 8? And from the information that I have received from BMW at this time, unfortunately the answer is no. Uh, iDrive 8 must have the BMW curve display, um, and there's a number of reasons for that. Not only is that you know formatted for that large curve display, but in many cases our climate control settings, everything that you see down here, uh, those are largely been erased. And, Climate is built into your BMW curve display in the operating system 8 software. So it is, it would be a little bit redundant to actually have iDrive 8 on a display like this because, first of all, it's not formatted the right way, and second of all, all these buttons down here would be obsolete. So you'd have a menu button in the middle controlling all the climate, um, but then you'd have the physical keys down here doing the same thing doesn't just really make sense. So from what I have been told from BMW, the answer for that is no. Unfortunately, you cannot go from iDrive 7 to iDrive 8 just by an over-the-air software update or, you know, for that matter, any other update. Um, but for those with iDrive 7 who want to update their, their operating system uh, to stay with an iDrive 7, but just the latest uh, version of that, uh, this is how you do that in case uh, you guys are not 100% sure on that. So the first thing is, Automatic um, software upgrade should happen automatically. The car does search in the background. When an update is available, it does push to the vehicle. So when you're done driving and you shut the car off, one of the things that you should see on your display is uh, you know, basically the installation of the update is complete and whether or not you want to proceed with the update. Um, it, as long as all the parameters are checked off, you know, that the car is looking for, it would then begin that 20 minute process of doing that update. If there isn't any update showing when you shut the car off and you want to kind of manually go in there and see, this is what you're going to do. So you're going to go right down here to car, we're going to tap there, we're going to go under settings, we're going to go under general, and then we're going to go right under remote software upgrade. We're going to tap on there. What it first tells you at the top of the screen right there is what your current uh, installed version is. And what I can do right under it is just tap on search for upgrades. Essentially, this is going to happen in the background. And what that means is I can continue driving while it does this. Um, there is no need for me to be parked. I don't have to be sitting waiting in the car. The system is just gonna look in the background to see whether or not an update is available. Uh, if there is an upgrade available and it is uh, possible for me to do that, uh, that would show right here, right in that display. Once it's all done and it searched for the upgrades, it would show me that it is available. It first needs to download that update to the vehicle, so that will take some time. Once it does that and it's ready to actually install, uh, that would be the process that, you know, make sure that your parking brake is pulled up and make sure any other variables on the display um, it, that they are met and satisfied, and then it would be able to do that 20-minute process of fully updating um, your software in your vehicle. Um, so it is important to remember when it does do that final uh, component of installing that update, it does take about 20 minutes. Um, it may be 20, 25, depending on the update available. I haven't seen anything greater than 25 and um, the vehicle is completely disabled at that point in time. So please make sure when you are all set and you're ready to do the update that you are not going anywhere and you know, you, you're pretty good for, for the time being, um, just in case it takes a little bit longer uh, in all of that. So the longest part of this is the, the download of it. And that's basically, you know, just based off of the connectivity of where you are, the cell towers, all of that. Your vehicle does have uh, 4G LTE built inside of it, so that's why it's capable of receiving those downloads remotely. That's how it can do that. Obviously, that's going to be just based off of your connection. If you're in a very remote area and there is not a lot of connection and that's a known thing, it's going to take a very long time to download that upgrade to your vehicle. Um, but once it is there, um, then the, um, the installation process is fairly straightforward. 
and usually always takes about 20, 25 minutes. And that's it. Um, as you can see, uh, we're pretty much done with the video here now. Uh, it is still searching for the upgrade. That's not an abnormal thing. It does take a bit of time. That's why it just tells you it's in the background and you continue driving. Um, if anything was available, it would pop up uh, right in the center there. And that's pretty much everything you need to know. If you do need assistance with this, uh, you certainly can reach out to your local BMW center and uh, BMW Genius uh, can definitely show you um, how this is done. If you want it done at your BMW center, that can also, I'm sure, uh, be arranged as long as you are aware of the fact that, you know, that download process has to happen and then that final, um, you know, install period uh, where it takes the 20, 25 minutes. So I would definitely plan on staying at the dealership uh, a, good, a good amount of time, at least an hour, just to make sure that everything is done properly uh, if you are interested in them helping you. All right, my name is Chris. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. Please subscribe so you can always stay up to date with the latest content and uh, please stay healthy and safe out there.